welcome to Celebrity Vibes. Chris Evans just reported on internet that Selena Gomez hospitalized for illness. We will harm it all down for you. But in the previous thing we proceed, please if you are new to this channel, please take a minute of your treasure time to subscribe and hit the notification bell for massive updates. Let's dive into the video. CNN has proven teen celebrity Selena Gomez has been hospitalized, even though the purpose is presently unknown. According to TMZ, Gomez, 18, used to be rushed to the medical institution following her look on The Tonight Show Thursday. The website, citing unnamed sources, says she used to be feeling horrible Thursday night time each in the course of and after the show. The Disney superstar used to be reportedly complaining of nausea and extreme headache. Her rep tells CNN, last night time after Selena's appearance on The Tonight Show she wasn't feeling nicely and used to be taken to the hospital. She is presently present process pursuits tests. Gomez has been open about in search of cure for nervousness and depression. Earlier this month, she printed she was identified bipolar. I had to begin opening up due to the fact human beings had been taking away my narrative, and it was once killing me, the Disney alum said. I'm so younger and I'm going to maintain changing, and no one has the proper to inform me how my life's going. You've already helped a lot of people, mainly youthful people, with appreciation their very own intellectual fitness issues. You sense like that's your calling? Schumer asked. I don't comprehend if that used to be ever intended to be my role, however I love people. I care, a lot. I've long passed through a lot of clinical issues, and I'd be aware of that I can attain humans who are going via in a similar way horrifying matters in organ transplant, or being on dialysis, or going away for treatment Gomez replied. A large section of why I have a platform is to assist people. That's why I suppose I'm okay with the magnitude. I mean, I'm now not fully okay with it however I'm going to say that I'm due to the fact it's well worth it. I'd be aware of that I'm making anyone someplace sense good, or experience understood or heard, and that's really worth it for me. Gomez discovered she had lupus. It required her to have a kidney transplant four years later. The 13 reasons why producer printed she had no bodily signs of the autoimmune sickness prior to her diagnosis. I've labored with the Lupus Research Alliance for a few years, and essentially there are exceptional kinds of autoimmune diseases she explained. Some human beings with lupus have bodily effects, and these are extra noticeable. But I had no concept that I had it. There have been no bodily symptoms of it. Gomez continued, and when I was 116, my blood strain was once at a stage that physicians stated, I ought to have had a stroke. They put me in the clinic due to the fact they couldn't parent out why my blood strain used to be so high. Some human beings want to get transplants due to the fact of it, and it's something that isn't talked about a lot. I'm extraordinarily honored to be a phase of that neighborhood, and to locate approaches that are safer for human beings to get treatment, or to make it simpler to discover quicker. Although the 27-year-old lately completed a predominant profession milestone her one-third wide variety one album with Rare Gomez, admitted she has hassle celebrating her successes. I'm very, very happy. And it's from time to time tough for me to be comfortable for myself, she admitted. Gomez referred to she's been speaking about it with some people. Millions of humans have so an awful lot love for you, and when any person meets you, they can see your kindness in your brain and your vulnerability. I suppose humans fear about you. I've concerned about you. Should we be involved about you? Schumer asked. No, Gomez replied. I've long passed through some certainly tough stuff, and due to the fact of these moments, whether or not I preferred it or not, a photo was once painted of my life. That was once frightening due to the fact I didn't desire it to have an effect on my career. You didn't prefer what to have an effect on your career. Your private life. Schumer observed up. Yeah, Gomez affirmed. It received out of manage when I used to be magnificent young. I assume it confirmed human beings that I used to be vulnerable in positive moments, and that I had troubles. Some humans simply get off on constructing humans up, and then attempting to deliver them down. Gomez emphasized she's okay. I wager what I suggest is that humans fear about me due to the fact I've had some bother in the past Gomez and it's kind, it is. But I'm okay. I deal with what I deal with, and if I feel like I'm having a rough week, or I'm not up to doing something, I don't do it. Selena Gomez isn't slowing her role on the new music front. Now that Bad Liar is out and stuck in your head, she's gearing up for a new collaboration with Gucci Mane, and it seems like it's an explosive affair, if the visuals she dropped to hype it are any indication. On July 13th, Gomez is releasing her next single, Fetish, and the photos she posted to announce it look like eerie stills from a coming-of-age horror movie. Unlike Bad Liar, which had a rocking some goofy disguises, the R for fetish has a decidedly darker, mysterious vibe, so far. Gomez's look is simple in a long, comfy dress and sneakers, and she's staring straight into the camera with nothing but grocery bags beside her. 
The haze in the background isn't fog, but smoke coming straight from the overheated engine of a beat-up car directly behind her, and the whole feel is more ominous than not. Selena Gomez opened up to friend Amy Schumer about her mental and physical health for Interview magazine. Schumer began the conversation by remarking how, if Gomez coughs it's trending news. The sad part is that I don't remember a time when that wasn't the case, Gomez replied. What has kept me afloat is that I know eventually it'll be someone else, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Sometimes it's been bad for my career, but other times it's like, now I can talk about things like my depression and anxiety, things that I've struggled with, and which I'm totally open about, because I believe in seeking help. But other than that, what keeps me grounded is that I do my best to avoid it. It's not like I don't live my life. Gomez's on-again, off-again relationship with Justin Bieber made sure her personal life remained tabloid fodder. The Lose You To Love Me singer told Schumer, my intention was never to become a tabloid. So when things kind of happened that way, it got out of control. And then I was like, wait, none of this is true, Gomez explained. The way the media has sometimes tried to explain things has made it sound really bad, when in reality there's nothing wrong with the fact that I needed to go away, or that I fell in love. Her look was personal, while some may say the dress looks similar to ones from years past, her 2018 dress is one of a kind. Selena personalized the dress with her favorite biblical quote from Proverbs 31:30. A woman who fears the Lord is a woman who shall be praised, was hand sewn onto a ribbon, and placed down the back of the dress. Selena's kiss lung frame bag, an archival design with gunmetal detailing, crystal embellishments and a T-rose turnlock, also featured the same quote embossed on the side. I also love the quote. It has a lot of meaning to her. It's nice when a dress can feel personal, added the stylist, who also dressed Michelle Williams and Sienna Miller for the night. We wanted it to have a quirky feel. We decided not to go with a white white dress. We wanted an heirloom feel elements, to feel not super super new, explained Kate, aligning the vibe with Coach's aesthetic. Diamonds brought the heavenly and ethereal element. In fact, Selena is a true fan of her Tiffany and Company diamond cross. She's worn the necklace again and again, according to Kate, including during her 2017 AMA's performance. With a throwback vibe and statement jewels, they were going for an old school, fabulous Italian actress, the stylist added. After seeing Selena's dress for the Met Gala, we decided to go for a warm, glowy makeup look with dramatic, golden eyes and a nude lip, makeup artist and Marc Jacobs Beauty Global Artistry Ambassador Hung Van Gogh said in a statement. Emphasis on warm and glowy. Her skin tone natural or not complemented the wet, glittering effect of the eyes. Had her skin been pale, the golden, almost greenish hue may have appeared in too much contrast. Then there's this theory, perhaps Selena took the heavenly bodies, fashion and the Catholic imagination theme to heart. While her dress was undoubtedly celestial, her beauty look may have been inspired by Christian iconography, some of which is now displayed in the Metropolitan Museum of Arts exhibit, and features Mediterranean complexions and figures with warm, olive skin. While Gomez handled the whole scenario like a pro, she told Glamour UK that she's felt the pressure of Hollywood beauty standards for as long as she can remember. Being in the public eye from such an early age certainly comes with a lot of pressure. It's hard to feel comfortable. Please inform us in the comments. Please do now no longer forget about to subscribe and flip on the notification bell to see our current day updates. Thanks for watching.